This is huge. What if you can integrate your own software in Assistance API? What if you can integrate your own programs or functions in Assistance API? That's exactly what we are going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about functions calling in Assistance API. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to run this code yourself. Before that, I regularly create AI-related videos on my YouTube channel, so do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to Assistance API, I have already covered this in my previous video. I will link that in the description below. Now we are going to add the functions calling ability in the Assistance API. As a quick overview, we created an assistant called Data Analyst, and then we created a thread that is for initializing the chat. Then we create a message. Message will be a user, that is myself, Mervin Prazen. The message contains questions to ask to data analyst. And finally, you run the code. Here is the code. First, you initialize the client. Then you create an assistant called data analyst assistant. Next, you create a thread. Third, you create a message to a thread. And then you run the assistant. After you trigger the run, you are going to check the status of the run. If the run status is completed, then print all the messages. I'm going to run this without function calling. The question I'm going to ask to my data analyst is, can you please provide me stock price of Apple? Now we are going to run this code. In your terminal, python function calling.py. That's where my code is located. And click enter. Now I'm getting a response. Here it says status queued. Then it's going through a loop again to check again if the status got completed. If the status got completed, then we are printing out the result. It says, I'm sorry, Mervin Prazen, but as an AI developed by OpenAI with the knowledge cutoff in April 2023, I don't have access to real-time data, including current stock price. Now it didn't work because ChatGPT doesn't have access to the live real-time stock prices. But imagine you have a function or an application which is capable of getting a real-time stock price. How can we integrate that in Assistance API? For an example, I'm going to import Yahoo Finance and import ticker. This is used to get the stock price and I've created a function called get stock price and it will return the price of the stock provided. This could be any big function you want to integrate with Assistance API. Now we are going to define this function. I'm going to provide something called tools list in that I'm going to inform the type as function and then the function calling. This is where you describe your function settings. I've already covered this function calling in a separate video. I will also link that in the description below. But as a quick overview, you are defining the name of the function, that is get stock price. You provide a description, retrieve the latest closing price of a stock, and you provide the parameters. So in your function, the only parameter is the symbol. So I'm telling the symbol is the parameter with the type string, and only required parameter is symbol. For example, AAPL is a symbol for Apple stock price. Now we are going to include this tools list inside the assistance create. So here you go, tools equals tools list. If we are adding code interpreter in our tools, then we need to modify this with type equals code interpreter. Similarly, you can add as many tools as you want and as many functions as you want. In this case, function is a tool. Coming back to our image, this is for a normal assistance API call. But if we want to add the function calling, it will be like this. One more step, which is called requires action. So in our code, to check the status of the run, we type run status equals completed. Now we need to add another status called requires action. Here I'm going to add another else if statement and adding it as requires action. Print requires action. Now we're going to run this code. Going to your terminal, python function calling.py. Now we got a response. We are clearly defining the function. Now the status is queued. Now we receive another status called requires action. It is providing a JSON object in the JSON object, if you see, there is something called required action that will provide the symbol which is required for the function to execute. Now we are going to pass this required action data and then send it back to Assistance API. Coming back to our code, required actions equals run status dot required action dot submit tool outputs dot model dump. This line will pass the data sent back to us, the required actions. Now we're going to print the required actions just for our reference. Next, we are going to define tools output equals and a list. This is the output which we need to send back to Assistance API. Now we need to pass the required actions. 
for action and required actions then tool calls next function name equals action function name arguments equals json dot loads action function arguments that's where we can get the arguments to get the symbol next if function name equals get stock price output equals get stock price and argument is symbol next tools output dot append you're providing the id and the output if there is no function print function not found now we need to submit this tools output back to assistance api to do that client dot beta dot threads dot runs dot submit tool outputs and then providing the thread id run id and tool outputs equals tool outputs that's it so to summarize what we have done we create assistant then we create a thread then we create a message the message says give me the stock price of apple to the analyst next we run the code then it returns requires action status after that, we are passing the data running the function and sending the result back to assistance api similarly in the code to summarize we have a get stock price function we are defining the function calling and providing the tools list type equals function then we are sending the tools list inside the assistance.create when we create the data analyst assistant and assign it to tools secondly we are creating a thread then a message then we are running the assistant finally we are parsing the response we received if the status is requires action finally we are sending back the output of the processed function to assistance api now we are going to run this code in your terminal python function calling now you can see the status is queued i got an error here the key need to be tool call id so i'm going to change the code if you go back to the code it says i changed to id now it's correct now you're going to run that again python function calling.py and the status is queued now now it returned a json response with the symbol for apple and the function name get stock price then we are executing the function and returning the result back to assistance api and finally we got a result here the latest closing price of apple is $182.41 that's it as simple as that now you can integrate any functions in your assistance api i'm going to create more videos in regards to assistance api with more advanced functions so stay tuned i hope you like this video so do like share and subscribe and click the bell icon thanks for watching